Hi guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Nini. I'm Fifi. As we all know, Chinese culture has a long and rich history. So today we're excited to take you on a journey to Qibao Ancient Town in southwest Shanghai, with over thousand years of history. Qibao means seven treasures in Chinese, and it's named after a legend that there were seven treasures in the area. It's a must-visit spot, known for its rich cultural heritage and ancient architecture. You can explore the charming lands, try some delicious local snacks, and appreciate the traditional buildings like temples, shops, and residential houses. And what's really cool is that it's also an arts district, with a ton of artists and cultural talents that gather here. Creating an amazing cultural atmosphere. Then let's explore together. This is the bell tower. The Eli Bell, one of the seven treasures, is hiding here. And on the second floor of the tower, you can also see the other six treasures on display. Stay tuned for our future video where we'll delve into their fascinating stories. Don't forget to buy the bell and make a wish when you're here. Ring the bell three times for good luck and blessing. The bells hanging on the eaves of create a unique scenery, and reading other people's wishes will move you and give you a sense of blessings. One thing worth mentioning is that the ground here is paved with cobblestones, forming beautiful traditional patterns. Even the covers of the drainage ditches have the shape of ancient coins, which is super interesting. Let's take a look at the main street here, Nanda Street means South Street. Since the Ming and Qing dynasty, the commercial center of Qibao has been centered around the North-South streets, with a total length of 360 meters. Before the 1950s, there were more than a hundred permanent stores. After restoration in 2002, it was named Qibao Old Street. In 2006, there were 143 stores with 67 households on Nanda Street, known as the Snack Street, and 76 households on Beida Street, means North Street, known as the Small Commodity Street. As we walked in, not far from here, we saw a small shop selling sugar paintings and sugar blowing. Chinese sugar painting and sugar blowing are traditional handcrafts, usually made with sugar syrup. They have rich cultural connotations and folk legends, and it's an important part of Chinese traditional culture. Fifi and I chose a gold because our Chinese zodiac signs are both golds. Does it look like a goat? The small shop also sells many interesting items with traditional cultural symbols, such as Chinese knots, wooden hangings with traditional totems, traditional seals, antique or decorative walnuts, and more.
as we walked around, we come across a shop selling traditional Chinese herbal sachets, which are part of the incense appreciation culture in China. The sachets contain a variety of Chinese herbs and emit a pleasant fragrance. We can wear on the body, used in wardrobes, drawers, cars, and etc. And next to it, there's a store selling traditional incense. Incense appreciation involves not only burning incense but also appreciating its fragrance and cultural significance. It's believed to have the power of adjust emotions, pray for blessings, purify the air, and improve mental state. And it is closely related to traditional Chinese religions like Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucianism. Here is a store with a 70s, 80s style. On the walls, there are some comics, and on the TV is playing Journey to the West. As we wander through the street, we came across a shop selling traditional blue-printed clothes. Blue-printing is a traditional handcrafted dyeing technique in China that dates back over a thousand years. It involves imprinting blue dye onto white or light-colored fabrics to create various beautiful patterns. It's widely used in clothing, bedding, and handicrafts due to its unique craftsmanship and aesthetic appeal. Blueprinting is now recognized as one of China's intangible cultural heritage. Next to this shop, there's a cultural and historical exhibition hall featuring cotton textile craftsmanship in Qibao town. There we can learn about the unique textile techniques. We will make a specialized video to introduce it to you. As we walk through the North Gate, we arrived at North Street, where you can find a plethora of delicious food. One notable restaurant is the Chibao Old Restaurant specializing in local cuisine. Outside, a group of livery middle-aged women were taking photos. It was a lovely sight to see. Across the street is another time-honored restaurant, the Tianxiang Building. Just below it, there is the Qiba Old Lane, which focused on traditional snacks. If you walk down the side street, you can find more shops selling small commodities and snacks. One store sells traditional pastries, which looks delicious. Across the street, you can find a shadow puppet art gallery, which is an important part of our cultural heritage. We'll be sure to make a video about it. Going further in, you will find a tea house, where you can sit by the window and enjoy the view. Standing on the famous Puhui Tang Bridge, you can see traditional buildings with antique charm all around.
As we walk further, we arrive at Tiandang Street, which means Pong Street. Inside, there is also a pawn shop. At the entrance of a store, we can see ancient practical currency like ingots. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. But wait a moment. In the next video, we will introduce you to the delicious food here. Remember to subscribe and come back to watch it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.